Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 10 in Azure Data Explorer playlist. In this video, we will explore about how we can ingest data from a container which is in blob storage or ADLS Gen2 storage to a table in Azure Data Explorer. In our past video, we have explored about how we can ingest data from a local file. So that means if you have file in your local system, how to take that data into ADX cluster tables. And this video is like a continuation to it. In this video, we will ingest the data from container to a table in Azure Data Explorer. Okay. So the same thing as we used in our last video, we have to use the ingestion wizard. Let me practically show you this. Let me go to my browser and here this is my Azure portal and inside this Azure portal I have a ADLS account called ADLS Mahir and if I navigate to containers in this portal or in this account of the ADLS Gen2 I have a sample container and inside a sample container there is a data folder. So inside this folder you can see here there are two files employees1.csv employees2.csv and also there is one json file. I want to take these csv files only. So if I open employees1.csv file and let me show you the data here by hitting this edit button. So there are two employees here you can see one and two and similarly in the employees2 I have one employee called employee id3 let me show you that as well here. So totally in employees2 file I have employee id3 and in employees1 file I have employee ids 1 and 2. So totally 3 employees information. I want to take this data into Azure Data Explorer cluster table. So if I go back to home I have this uh, Azure Data Explorer cluster which I created in our previous videos and this cluster if I navigate to query you can see uh, I have one database inside it. Let me show you that. So I have a database called you can see here demo database and inside this demo database right now there is no tables. When I hit refresh you don't see any tables here. So the same cluster I opened in the uh, data explorer UI by opening the URL called data explorer.azure.com actually. So now what I want to do I want to take that uh, CSV files from my storage to that same cluster and I want to create a new table and load that data there. So to do that navigate to data menu and hit this ingest data here and under destination as we explained in our last video select your uh, ADX cluster uh, you need to create a connection for it first we have created a connection in our previous videos so please watch them to get an idea so all my videos are in sequence order only so kindly watch them in the same order to get most out of it. And I from this cluster I selected this database and I want to create a new table called maybe employees. Okay. So this is destination information. Now let me hit next and when you hit next you will go to source information and under source type this is where you have to select like from where you want to read the data. So in the last video we used the same this file option because we want to read data from local system. So this time it is a container so I have to select this blob container option. The moment I select blob container if you closely observe you can do the ingestion one time or you can take the historical data ingestion as well this we will see in our future videos. Also you can set a continuous uh, ingestion that means not one time ingestion continuously if any blob added there then that blob data should be continuously moved to the ADX tables. So even that we can do that this continuous part we will see in our upcoming video. So this video it's a high level like how to load data from container to ADX table. So here you have two options you can select container there you will select a subscription and other details or you can take the URL of that particular uh, path in the, AD, uh, in the ADLS Gen2 and that URL that SAS, SAS shared signature access URL you can use it here actually. Let me take this URL option and let me generate the URL first. So if I go back to Azure portal, if I go back to home, so this is my storage account. Let me open my storage account here and let me navigate to containers and inside sample container as I said there is a data folder. This is the path under which I want to read the data from these two CSV files. I don't want to read from JSON file. So navigate to that location. 
click this shared access tokens and after you click that you have to generate one token so uh, you can uh, i am generating it in your case you can generate in your case also so what i will do here so the permissions not only read permission you should make sure to select the list permission because it has to list down the files from that folder and then read then scroll down the expiry and all you can set it and then finally hit this generate sas token and url and from the url part copy this url part so i am copying this url right now and then navigating to the uh, adx web ui and here i am using that url so the moment you use that url for the link to source option what it will do it will try to validate that you see there is a blue tick that shows that it validated successfully now under file filters right what i can do you can see right now what happened the moment i used link source if i scroll down he here it is asking to read the schema from a file it is trying to load so many folders and files here right the reason is it is trying to uh, list down every path and everything so what i will do i want to take data from the data folder so let's use the folder name here the moment you does that under the file filters the folder name or the folder path it is going to list down all the path from that folder so there are totally three files so you can see here totally three locations it is one is this sample data and another one is this employees two another one is this employees one so what i have to do i want to take only csv files right so what i can do here here i can give the file extension so i want to take only csv files the moment i do the file extension it is going to list down only files the csv files here so what this mean here what it is trying to say when i say schema defining file each file will have some data and every data will have some schema right so you want to take the schema from file right so you, you should tell to the system like this is the schema like this is the column names i want to take and everything so which file to consider for that schema that's the question here so now i can use any of these files because both the files have a schema so i selected this one for now and let me hit this next button when i click this next button it will navigate to the schema option here and if i zoom here and if you closely observe it is able to find the schema here clearly like id name gender and develop department column and everything right and also the compression type so it's a csv file automatically selected the format as well and it creates a new mapping as well behind the scenes and you can see there is something called command viewer here if you expand that it will have all the custo query or code to do all the job like creating a table then ingesting the data into that table and everything you can see here this ingest command help you to ingest data into table basically behind the scenes and i will try to create a separate playlist for custo query language so there we will explore all these syntaxes and how to write queries and everything okay but don't worry behind the scenes if you want to know what code will get generate and execute to ingest the data you can see from the command viewer let me minimize this and under partial data preview you can see all the columns coming now from here you can perform some kind of transformation for example this is a uh, data type is long maybe i want to convert this data type into integer so i can select this arrow and then change data type i can select integer and uh, this, you can see here it's converted to integer here then maybe uh, i want to i don't want this department column so i can click this arrow again maybe i can delete this column so i don't want and then maybe i want to rename this name column to employee name so what i will do i will click this update column okay and then here i don't want column name to be name i want it to be like emp name so let me hit update so now it came column name as a emp name let's update the gender column also so i am going to update this column and i will name it like emp gender let me hit update so uh, all kind of these kind of small small changes adding a new column deleting a column updating a column everything you can do it actually so once you are done with that what you can do you can hit this start ingestion the moment you does that it is going to create the table and then it is going to create a mapping and then it is going to ingest the data and when it is when it ingests the data you can see under ingestion it is ingesting from both the files employees 1 and employees 2 and you can open this ingestion preparation during preparation it created a table it created a mapping and under ingestion it is able to ingest the data and completely successful you can see two successful that means two files uploaded and you can see from the both the files there are totally three rows it came here clearly you can see here right and then 
if you see data preview also it shows the data preview so that's it now as i said if you want to enable the continuous ingestion that means in future if i add another file then that file also should automatically get ingest i should not do manually so even that you can do using this event grid part actually so this event grid part and all we will explore in our upcoming videos okay so once your preview and everything done let me close this here and let me go back to query and you can clearly see here now this time we got this employees table here and let me do one thing here so let me uh, list down the data from the employee table okay so let me zoom this little bit and uh, my table name is employees so let me type that remove the pipe this this is like a select query let let me hit this run button and now if you closely observe we got our three employees information here right employee id 1 2 3 and you can see the column names also it changed according to me and id column came as a int actually let me show you that so if i expand here you can see id column data type is also as a int here okay so this is how you can ingest the data from your uh, containers into adx tables successfully i hope you got an idea how to ingest the data so thank you for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.